welcome combatants so we're going to discuss rain and how he is still confirmed to be a half god and his half brother is still dagon but do like subscribe with the bell notification follow me to future for more content now when it comes to obviously immortal combat now we know since takeda's ending that yes dagon does exist he is in this era he is in this world and it seems with takeda's intro with rain it reveals that they are still half brothers take a listen to this Mavado, dagon those names mean anything to you I have a half-brother named Dagon. So right there you can see that he still has a half-brother named Dagon. Now the interesting thing is, is if he wasn't connected to Dagon or Taven anymore, then that would make him literally just a mage. But instead connecting him to them, and this is a different um, realm of Rain, like a different timeline. This is our MK1 version of Rain that's talking to him. So this is the interesting thing that we know Dagon is officially in this world. We know Karo is, we know Orin is, because Orin is supposed to be in the story DLC, Taven's Dragon so who can tell what's going to happen there or why they need him but just the fact of them confirming this it shows that Dagon and them like, are still his brothers that means that Rain is still partly a god of aspect to these guys now we don't know properly if these guys are still gods like Argus and Delia or are they separated from them now and they're no longer the sons but if they are that would mean that yes Argus still still went and did his deeds with Rain's mum and still produced Rain even though Rain has never met his mom, he's an orphan, but Dagon is still his brother. Now it could be possible that um Argus did sleep with Deli um, with um, Rain's mom and then possibly had her killed. Or maybe just maybe before they thought she was going to give birth, they tried to, she escaped. When she escaped, that's when she gave birth to Rain and left him up for orphanage. That would mean that Rain was obviously still being looked after by Sindel. Maybe she came to Sindel, maybe Sindel took pity on her and took Rain in never to reveal the secrets. Liu Kang obviously knew this but instead I think what he has done he's been able to take Rain away from all that watch the events happen which we all know Liu Kang sat back and watched events of people in the MK1 world go through events that are still bad but still trying to help them to be more good and it seems that this is the possibility that probably happened. Dagon probably told Rain that he was the half-brother, but just did not tell him who the father was. And just so in case Rain maybe went and seeked out some infinite amount of power that maybe he lied and said only those born from both parents can be able to do that, Deli and Argus. And if he made Rain think that he wasn't, then Rain's not going to go look for anything. He's just going to know that he's a half-brother. He's got no power. He's got nothing on the same matchings of Dagon maybe that's the case maybe Sindel already told him that your brother is Dagon and um, Dagon but just never said anything about who the father was but it totally makes sense because if you're looking at the powers and the abilities that Rain has, has got he succeeded every single person out of his class but why why would that happen if he was just a normal type of mage compared to them it seems like the water and the elements had bind to him they were calling to him that allowed him to sink Sidar that allowed him to be the most greatest person to utilize water out of people People's body and kill them could it be possible that Liu Kang never actually took away his godhood but just sealed it and locked it away so that he could not know that he, he is a god and completely tamed it to the point where he can't be able to use it to its full capacity that would make rain seem more normal than a demigod but really he always still was maybe he has unlocked potential that he needs to unlock like sin like i said about sindel maybe she possibly hid it from him maybe she already knew maybe Liu kang ages ago which they have known each other for years maybe Liu kang brought him to her and was like do not let him know about his actual upbringing about who his real father is you can tell him who his brothers are but as long as his brothers are never near him then they will never be able to gain the power or maybe even unlock their potentials anything's very possible with that because obviously Liu Kang doesn't like Rain <laughs> he's never liked Rain at all for some reason he's always had something against him remember MK11 ones where he'd go now we finish this Rain it's like what is his problem with Rain but even so, I do feel like maybe, just maybe, if they do meet up, maybe there's a power that they're supposed to have. Maybe there's a power that they can all three of them be so dominant, but Liu Kang already knows that the power that they would have if Dagon and Rain and Taven were to meet up. If if Taven's good or not, we don't know. But Dagon and Rain possibly will end up in the same outcome which they did many moons ago in the other timelines, where they were all wicked and all bad. 
So could it be possible that that is the reason why he hasn't got the power? But like I said, it makes sense because of the amount of power and water usage Rain can do using it out of people's body being able to kill people in the way he does sink a whole entire city with water the magic the power that he has it shows how important and special he is and how different he is compared to every other single character so this is very interesting but obviously let me know what do you think do you think he is still a demigod do you think he will find out do you think it is a scheme to hide his true potential by Liu Kang or many others and will Dagon and then meet but do like subscribe this is your boy future boy in back to future stay frosty peeps peace Thank you.